Right now, thousands of people are trying to get off Maui and get back to the mainland, avoiding the deadly, destructive wildfires there. And tonight, we are hearing from people who used to live in Raleigh, now in Hawaii, about what's happening. WRAL Shelly Jackson joining us live now from RDU International with their story. Shelly. Well, Lena, it's about noon right now in Maui, and folks there are just glued to their social media, looking for any information they can find on the fires, shelters, evacuations. I did speak with one woman there on the island who used to live here in Raleigh, and she tells me she can't stop making comparisons to when Hurricane Fran hit here in 1996. Lisa Shaw returned to her home state of Hawaii after spending 30 years in North Carolina. I was in Raleigh when Fran hit, and I remember how everybody just banded together, you know, and it was an amazing thing. Well, it'll be like that here, but tenfold. Shell has had a view of two of the fires burning in Maui, the Kihei fire and the Kula fire. It looks apocalyptic. I've never seen anything quite like that. Um, certainly not, not in Hawaii. This is unprecedented for this state. Sacred ancestral lands have been lost. This fire was at the mercy of the wind, and the wind just blew it so fast, and it was just so destructive. I mean, the hundred-year-old buildings, uh, it just the history is all gone. Everything is just is, is gone. And historic towns like Lahaina, a former whaling town, have been decimated. Former Raleigh resident Greg Taylor says the devastation is heartbreaking. There's nothing left. Uh, the pictures that I that I see of the, the harbor, all the slips are gone, the boats are burned um, and, and sank, and the historic buildings, are, you know, not even, from what I can tell from the pictures, not even like the ashes from the buildings are there. And while there's devastation everywhere you look, Shell says Maui's magical quality is what will help it rise from the ashes. The spirit, the mana, uh, the energy, if you will, of all of that deep-rooted connection is going to be the foundation for everybody rebuilding Maui. Now, if you are watching these devastating images from home and you want to do something to help, you can donate to the Red Cross. Shell also tells me that the Maui Humane Society has just been overwhelmed with pets. If you want to donate there, you can find links for both organizations on our website, WRAL.com. Lena? And we know so many people just want to help where they can. Shelly Jackson reporting live for us at RDU. Thank you.